Okay, so this is the video where we're going to talk about little known ways to bootstrap your business. And just real quickly, if you have never heard the phrase bootstrapping your business, where, uh, or at least where I've heard that it comes from, is like a cowboy type of setting where um, if you if you're familiar with cowboy boots, that at the on the upper edge of a cowboy boot, uh, there's a strap, and that's called the boot strap. So the saying is, you know, pick yourself up by your bootstrap. So if you kind of imagine that that you're wearing two cowboy boots and you reach down with your hands and uh, with each hand you grab one of the bootstraps and you pull yourself up. In theory, <laughs> you would pick yourself up, but the more you think about it, like, wait a minute. That wouldn't work, uh, but that's the saying. It's kind of picking yourself up by your bootstraps. So, back to the top of the batting order. The the way that it applies here is that if you're somebody that says, you know, I I need to bootstrap my business because uh, you either you're either in the situation where you have no savings and a little bit of cash flow, or some savings but no additional cash that you can really add to it week by week. Then you're you're in both of those situations you're in a place where you would have to do what we're calling bootstrapping your your business so what we're going to talk about are there are three categories one is using other people's money the next is personal loans and the last one is what i'm just calling an utter bootstrap so uh, back at the top using other people's money what what that means is that if you're you're good at kind of selling and pitching yourself then what i would encourage you to do is to just make a nice long list of all the people that you know that either have a good credit record good you know cr good credit rating or that they're you know that they're pretty well to do so that you could encourage them to invest in you and in so doing you're using other people's money to start your business so that that's one way to to bootstrap your business is with other people's money the next is personal loans so it's not truly a bootstrap but to a certain way of thinking it's a bootstrap if you're saying that you have like, again, you've got really very little cash flow or you've got very little money in the bank. So the way you're going to pick yourself up by your bootstrap is that you're either going to get a personal loan from a local bank or you're going to go to rich uncle Ed uh, or rich aunt Mary and uh, just get them uh, to, to make you a, a loan. So you're not you're not you because in the scenario of using other people's money, somebody's investing in you and they're they're expecting uh, a a slice of the business. So the difference between other people's money and bank loans or personal loans is that they're they're giving you the, the money to do whatever you need to do, and they just expect to be paid back. So it's not directly tied to the business, so to say. So again, the, the third category is what I'm calling an utter bootstrap. And what that means is that even if you have no cash or very little cash flow and no savings, then the, the bootstrap, and I'll give you two methods, they're, they're more. So if you have interest in more of them, just send me a message and we can talk more about it. But the, the first one is using Craigslist. Because again, we're talking about this in terms of uh, the SFM and the, the the business model they have, which again is about finding people who who want to start their own profitable business. So you can use Craigslist and and other models like that, or other websites like that, such that uh, because there's no cost to put an advertisement on Craigslist, and Craigslist, I'm pretty sure they're global. They're certainly all over the United States, uh, but the point there is that you for no cost, um, you would just go ahead and you would put advertisements in Craigslist to, to find leads, to find people who are interested in, in starting their own business. So again, the way that applies to you is that in this scenario, um, uh, the, the asser assertion is, pardon me, that, that you have no money, but you have time. So you use that. The other model, and I'm watching the clock because we're almost out of time here, is that you would use YouTube and in the YouTube model, what you're you're doing is that there there's a hack um, for YouTube where you upload 30 videos at one time and you set them you keep them all as private until you have them all perfectly ready and then you set them all live at the same time and 
in so doing, uh, YouTube ranks those videos uh, in YouTube as well as Google uh, quite highly and quite quickly. So I'm going to stop it there because I know that people have given me feedback that the videos that are longer than five minutes are just too long. So I'll stop here. Again, um, Will Kenderdine here. Really looking forward to hearing your feedback on this. If you have questions or comments, let me know. And looking forward to hearing from you.